Okay, so a little bit of an update now of uh, where I'm at. Uh, just getting stuff cleaned up and getting things ready to go back together. I've got the uh, inner cover here all cleaned. I've got the uh, gasket surface here on the inside all, all wire wheeled off. Um, nicely cleaned up. I'm going to give it a, one final bath with some uh, soap and water before, just to get any little remaining pieces of dirt and gunge out, but I think I got it. I got my new bearing installed. I uh, drilled a vent hole for uh, any gases that uh, get generated inside the gearbox to escape. Just here in the uh, filler section of, uh, of the inner case, that's about a one and a half millimeters. Uh, that hole, I just picked a drill somewhere between one and two millimeters. And what I did was I took my punch and I punched in here so the drill bit wouldn't skate around and then I just drilled through. Pretty simple thing to do. Uh, I did have to uh, adjust my uh, kickstart. Uh, what was happening was the uh, kickstart when it was going around it wouldn't spin all the way around. Oops, I'm sorry, I moved you out of there. There, it wouldn't spin all the way around, and uh, it was uh, jamming up here against the stop. So all I did was I just ground a little bit off the edge here, so that it would go all the way around uh, when it uh, was supposed to rotate. And here I'll just show you, just easier. Then, uh, Give me a sec here, a little bit, a little bit fiddly to do with one hand, but there we go. Oh yeah, what am I doing? It's probably a little fiddly to do with one hand because I'm putting it in backwards. Okay, let's try it the right way this time. There we go. Alright, so you can see that the way it's supposed to work supposed to go in all the way and then stop against the stop but it wasn't doing that it was it was being held up in this position where it was the uh, dog here for the kickstart the paw for the kickstart was uh, part way out so once I ground it down then it was able to rotate the rest of the way and the uh, the paw was able to withdraw and go back into the kickstart nicely so that was that so the other thing I did here was uh, and this was a bit of a bear. I took, uh, I got the surface all cleaned up here on the gearbox itself, the outer or the uh, case for the gearbox. It was really tough down here. What I ended up having to do was take the uh, footrest off, and then I had a nice big heavy piece of cardboard, and I doubled it up actually, and I put it over here because I didn't want. Uh, I was using a wire wheel in a in an electric drill, and I didn't want to grind the, the paint off of the. Uh, Foot, uh, frame or off of uh, where the foot uh, rest uh, attaches here. I did certainly didn't want to brush up against my exhaust here and scratch the exhaust. So that that worked out perfectly. It uh, allowed me to get at the surface underneath here and clean it up, uh, remove all the gasket material without uh, damaging any of the paint or damaging the chrome on the exhaust. So she's all ready to go. Here's the rod that comes through for the shifter from the uh, left side of the bike. So I got. This guy put back in, uh, if you recall from an earlier video, the uh, uh, plunger popped out on me. I ended up having to put it back in and just kind of uh, dent in the little uh, divot there in the outer case to hold it in. It was a bit of a bear to put in and what I did was I took a stubby flat screwdriver and I just held it in uh, once I screwed it in and that allowed me to move the uh, shifter arm up into position and I removed the screwdriver and it popped out and now it's working fine and uh, it's in there and uh, it, it moves it moves properly. So the next job now I uh, is to come over here to the left side of the bike, the drive side. So I was just uh, just dry fitting my uh, my primary chain case here and uh, just to make sure it was good I had it all cleaned up. I'll set that down. So what I did here was I. Uh, from the other side I just took a, a, a long rod and I just pushed out the seal here and uh, there was all kinds of oil in here and uh, it was full of the uh, fine metal filings from inside the gearbox so I know that the gear oil was coming out this seal and it was coming out here 
So that just shows you, right? I mean, the, the old bearing that sat in here was open. So that was just coming out here and it was just going by this seal and just making a mess everywhere here. So I'm hoping I've got a new seal. I'm going to put the new seal in as well as the bearing itself is sealed. So hopefully that'll keep the uh, gear oil inside the gearbox where I want it to stay. If a little bit comes out, well, a little bit comes out, but as long as it doesn't come out like it was before, you know, uh, it was coming out uh, in crazy amounts before, I'd, I'd have to top the gearbox up continually. One thing that I wanted to point out, which I was kind of surprised once I got the, let's see if you can see it or not, let's see. Can you see, I'm trying to get it so there's not too much glare, okay. Can you see there's just these slight grooves in the uh, casting here and the machining for this uh, bearing where the bearing fits in and uh, it's like wow it looks like they're grooved. I'm used to seeing like it be smooth where it's machined out but uh, this one's kind of got these these grooves. Now when you you feel across them I, I can feel them with my fingernail but you don't really feel them with your your fingertip. But they're there. I can just barely feel them. And of course I can see them. But uh, I don't think I'm going to mess with that at all. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, the old bearing fit in there and uh, it, it's, uh, it didn't go anywhere. This wasn't the bearing. It gave me grief. It was the one on the other side that failed. So apart from cleaning that up as far as removing the oil and uh, excess uh, filings from the, the old gearbox uh, oil, uh, I'm just going to leave that the way it is. I'm not going to do anything to it. So what I'm going to do right now, I've got my new bearing in the freezer so that it's uh, contracting a bit. And uh, then I'm going to take just my heat gun this time and I'm just going to go on, on a high setting and go around here and just heat this face of the gearbox for as long as I want, quite a while. And then come at the, uh, come at the installation of the bearing with uh, my nice cold bearing. I'll get it in out of the freezer. And hopefully that goes in without without too much difficulty. Uh, I'll do. I'll see what see what happens uh, when I try to try to do that. But uh, it should go in fairly easily. I know the one on the uh, inner case went in really easy when I had the inner case warmed up, and my bearing was out of the freezer. It virtually just popped in. So I'm hoping that I get lucky in the same thing. Then once that's in place, I'll put my new seal back in because the seal butts up against the bearing. So I, want to, uh, I don't want to put that in first. I want to put the bearing in first, which will come up here against this lip, this edge, and stop there. Then over here, uh, the other thing i got to do now is i just got to remove this old gasket material here. I'll take that off here and uh, get that out of the way, get that cleaned up. And uh, I've, got a, I've got a new gasket for here. And uh, I'll put that on. I'm going to, both on this gasket and on the gasket for the uh, inner primary case, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, uh, RTV gasket material. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Uh, this one, I did see some leakage of the transmission fluid from the primary chain case, so I know it was coming out here. So I'm going to put a little bit uh, around there. It's kind of a funny thing. It's not. It's webbed here, and you can see I can put my finger in. It's not like a solid, solid piece that's uh, that's fa uh, faced off like it's milled. It's actually it's actually webbed, so uh, it's kind of interesting that they they cast it that way, but they did. So uh, yeah. So anyway, so that's an update of where I am right now, and uh, I get a little bit further along, I'll uh, do another update.